Alert, alert, this is a Doom Cotton News alert. Alert, alert, this is a Doom Cotton News alert. Greetings. This is the voice of Dicta Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, and I come to you with a question. Earlier this week I discussed the EW cover that featured the new remake of Aladdin with Will Smith as the genie. Looking at that cover, thinking how suitable it was to frame it on my wall and then throw shit at it, I was struck by something. I've looked at this image and a question has arisen since I did that last video, and I want to pose that question to you now. Looking at Jasmine and looking at Aladdin, they are costumed similarly to how they were costumed in the movie. So well, so good. I have no real beefs with them. But then I was once again glaring at Will Smith, thinking how suitable his picture is for defacing with a large felt tip marker, putting some glasses on him, Maybe teeth missing, you know, big curly mustache, you know, frizzy hair. The kind of stuff you do in elementary school when you don't like something. And then it struck me. Something that in my earlier rage, disdain, and alienation, it simply escaped my notice. But nothing escapes Doomcock's notice long, my friends. And so, when I'm looking at that picture, I said to myself, Hey, why isn't Will Smith blue? And I don't mean him as a person, I mean him in the role of the genie. If you're doing a live-action remake of one of your classic animated films, don't you want to stick as close to that animated film as possible? One of the most distinguishing characteristics of Aladdin is the big blue genie. And so I put it to you, why isn't Will Smith blue. That is one of the most visually interesting, most famous images from that movie. Why the hell is not Will Smith blue? I have my own feeling about this, and I think that the answer is fairly plain to see. Will Smith, as the genie, isn't blue because in making this movie, they are more interested in being woke than being Aladdin. Because if they put blue makeup on Will Smith, then they lose woke points, don't they? Can't have that. We've got to have our virtue signaling clear and unmistakable. Coloring Will Smith blue? Well, that might just confuse the troops, mightn't it? Maybe I'm reading too much into this. My anger, my blood pressure, they tend to throw me into spirals of rage and despair and... I obsess over things. Except I wonder, how woke is it exactly to have Will Smith play a happy-go-lucky slave in this movie? After all, the genie of the lamp is Aladdin's slave. It's a happy slavery. It's an affectionate slavery. But it is, in fact, slavery. And they have cast Will Smith as a bound slave to his master. So I don't know how many woke points you get for that. But kids, I humbly propose, moving forward, as they <laughs> release Aladdin, in all the forums and in all the comments and all the live streams that you happen to have access to, uh, let's have a little fun with these woke warriors and uh, point this out. Let's see how they like that. They make our lives hell, well, pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, I don't have any qualms in returning the favor. Will Smith is playing a slave. He is not blue, because that would interfere in the wokeness of this particular film. It's just going to be a complete disaster. And I'm going to be on the sidelines laughing as it goes down in rhetorical flames. One thing strikes me. On the old I Dream of Genie series, Michael and Sarah, yes, Kang himself from Day of the Dove, the season three episode of Star Trek, they painted him blue. They made Michael and Sarah blue. And yet Will Smith apparently is above this requirement because being woke is more important than being authentic. Being woke is more important than being iconic. 
being woke is more important than damn near anything these days at the Disney Company. From all of us here at the center of the earth, this is Dick the Van Doomcock, bidding you all my friends, don't get woke and stay angry. Ha, 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 ha.